guys, Matt and Steve here with Nerd Barrage, and today we're with Leo Kiesling, and you guys may know him as Zipperface. What are we going to do to Matt today? We're going to turn him into the legendary Heath Ledger's Joker. I am excited. I love Heath Ledger's Joker, so I can't wait to see you make Matt a little bit prettier than he already is. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see him wearing a dress. Oh, well. Yeah, I already got pictures of that. It's not the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm excited. This is probably one of my favorite characters. All right. Here we go. I'm going to use an astringent, alcohol, anything that will break down the oils on the skin. I'm going to make sure I get these areas so the latex sticks. This town deserves a better class of criminal. So this is my best friend in the whole world. Cheap toilet paper. Easy way to create scars, skin texture, without having to build a prosthetic for it. Any particular type of latex that you use? Um, I like Ben Nye. This stuff is uh, its good to you. It's not hard on the skin. It's a good thick latex. I love these little applicators. You get them at Walmart and mm -hmm. get a whole bag of them for about three bucks. They're easy. I don't have to clean it. And they take the makeup well. They're specifically designed for makeup. And we're just going to put a light layer so the toilet paper will stick for us. Now I'm going to bunch this up a little bit. Now how's the latex, how do you remove it? It's normally you can just pull it off, but for okay. really hard parts, what you want to do is a little bit of cooking oil, mineral spirits, Anything, anything oil based. Right, and then I'm going to use this skewer to make sure we got a good scar line up the middle of it like it was cut. And what I'm basically doing is just slowly building a good textured scar. Would it be easier for someone to do this or for you to make a prosthetic? And well, making a prosthetic on glass prehand would be pretty easy. Mm -hmm. But this is something you can still do on the fly. Well, I, you do commission work. Is that so, if someone contacts you and said, hey, can yep. you just do a prosthetic? Yeah, and they can always get to me through Facebook. Do I really look like a guy with a plan? Steve, is that a good look? Sneak into the house, <laughs> I'll, I'll sneak into I thought my jokes were bad. What's that? Oh, just paint? Yeah, it's later on water-based makeup. I'm going to use other stuff to to stress it and dingy it up and whatnot. Okay. But and two on the nurse one, he's he's actually pretty bright. Uh -huh. So, like I said, we're going to pull a happy medium of that type of makeup. We don't have to get too special in the application. We want it kind of rough. Now, as far as paint layering. We're going to have three colors, black, white, and red. Yep. So what's the, is there a rule to it? In this one, yes, you're going to go with your base first. And then you'll go with the black, and then the red will be an accent. A lot of artists say you always go dark to light, but like when I'm doing zombies, I'm absolutely the opposite. I'm going light to dark. <laughs> I'm using water base because it's going to be easier to stress it that way, using okay. just water. But uh, if, it's, if it's a cake makeup and it's water-based, it'll be dry and something you add water to. Grease-based makeup, oil-based makeup will last a lot longer. It'll even put through sweat and stuff like that where the water-based won't. But with this water-based, any sweating, anything you're going to do is going to add to this makeup. So. Hey, go ahead and relax for me. Is there a specific type of paint for skin, or does it matter? For makeup, it's specifically a makeup that you run through. Ben Nye has a liquid hair and body paint. Mayron okay. has a liquid hair and body paint. I mix a little water with it. That way it moves through the brush a little smoother, a little easier. Yeah. Thin it down. So it's about, it's about two parts makeup, one part water. But some makeups, they'll actually use acrylic paint. But acrylic on your skin, soap and water, it'll come off. Oh, well, okay, yeah. okay. These are designed for the skin. If somebody has a hard time with makeup, first, again, make sure they're not allergic to latex. Mm -hmm. The second thing is, is you can buy a barrier spray that will actually put a film between you and the makeup. And it makes it really easy. They're usually water-based, so it makes them really easy to wash off. Using grease because it 
grabs that latex or the latex and the toilet paper. Yeah, and on top of that, it just it, it'll be a nice contrast difference because you'll kind of see, and this smudge is really good, and that's mainly why I'm using it as the smudging factor. So you've used a lot of airbrushing. If someone doesn't have access to an airbrush, what would you suggest to? You can do it with hand, by hand with Q-tips and stuff like that. Okay. Um, the airbrush, I'm just more for speed. We're gonna apply a little powder. That way it'll seal this grease makeup and it'll be touchable. Grab the powder brush, take off the excess, and it just sets grease makeup really good. Now it's touchable, you don't get anything on it. discussing the wig. I went cheap because of, of time, but you can make wigs too. Yep. Yep, and we can go as cheap or as expensive as you want. So yeah, I buy my hair online. I'll buy it in long lengths, cut it to what I need. Wigs are definitely time consuming. Oh yeah.